So you're running around the internet looking for some due diligence for a hot penny stock for free? Here you go. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it's May 14th. It is Tuesday. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share some due diligence with you on a hot penny stock that I came across today as I was trading penny stocks. I do this every day. I trade stocks under five bucks. And you know where I find them? Everywhere. Penny stocks are on every single market. And since I'm doing videos on a daily basis, I'm constantly keeping my eye out for a hot penny stock, a stock that has potential to make us money. And you know where I find most of these stocks I share with you? Looking at the charts. Folks, I can look at a lot of charts in a little amount of time. And literally, at a glance, I can tell you if a chart has heat. Well, when I find a chart that has heat, then I go do my research and due diligence through the filings and the press releases looking for a catalyst. And this is where a lot of people drop the ball. They'll find that hot chart and go look for a catalyst, but they won't look any further than a week back. <clears throat> Folks, a hot chart doesn't need much to get it running. Even a stale catalyst will get it running. If you can find news that's still in play that has some heat, it will run. Here's a great example. What about the stock we looked at yesterday? Plug Power, ticker PLUG. I found it because of the chart. It was an atypical breakout chart. The price was deep underneath the 200 and it was just getting ready to break through. It was tapping on the bottom of the 200 that had just leveled out. Well, I came looking for a catalyst. There was no news that day or the day before. There hadn't been any news that week or that month. The newest piece of news I found was two and a half months old, but it was hot. It had a lot of heat around it. The Department of Energy gave them $77 million for free. It was a grant. And I thought, gee whiz, a hydrogen company being supported by our government and the chart looks like this, this thing's going to run. Well, she took off today big time. Now, she did have a piece of news come out very timely, but in either case, she ran hard. And I'm expecting this company to do the same thing. This is Vuzi, ticker V-U-Z-I, Vuzi Corporation. Now, Vuzi does have some hot news today. She's got catalysts and she's got hot technology that I'm really excited to share with you. And she's got a hot chart. Her chart's in the hot zone. Over the last four days, her volume has been growing continuously, getting very strong. Over the last two days, she has been running. Yesterday, she was an atypical breakout chart, just up underneath that 200, getting ready to run. Today, she ran. She broke out. She took off. She's come down a little bit, but I don't think she's come down far enough. Most stocks do not just keep running after initial first breakthrough of the 200. They come down and test the 200 before they continue running. And that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. She's going to come down and tap to 200, and with this catalyst and her hot tech, she's going to continue to run. So this would be a buying opportunity for us. That's why we're looking at Vuji. Vuji finished today at a buck and a half, and she was up about 12% today. Now, this is a hot penny stock on the major exchange, which comes with a lot of benefits compared to the OTC. First off, it's free to trade. There's no transaction fees up on the major exchange. Plus, you can trade this pre-market, aftermarket. Lots of money to be made pre-market with these major exchange stocks. And there's a lot more volume and money up on the major exchange. And really, that's what we want around our stocks. And last, and definitely not least, it's safer up on the major exchange. There's a lot more rules and a lot more oversight. So personally, I like trading penny stocks on the major exchange versus the OTC. So what is Vuji all about? Well, she is about some hot tech. Vuji is a leading supplier of video eyewear products in the consumer, commercial, and entertainment markets. Vuji is a leading designer, manufacturer, and marketer of smart glasses and augmented reality technologies and products for the enterprise, medical, defense, and consumer markets. The company's products include head-mounted smart personal display and wearable computing devices that offers users a portable, high-quality viewing experience, provides solutions for mobility, wearable displays, and augmented reality, 
as well as OEM Waveguide optical components and display engines. And we're going to talk more about the Waveguide because this is a new technology they've implemented, which is really classy. Fuji holds more than 375 patents and patents pending and numerous intellectual property licenses in the fields of optics, head-mounted displays, and augmented reality video eyewear field. They've got one subsidiary called Moviant. The company has also won the Consumer Electronic Show Award 19 years in a row. They haven't missed one year since 2005, folks. Now, I want you to think about that. First off, the Consumer Electronics Show is a big deal. This is where everybody wants to go to see the newest, hottest dream tech. And this company has gotten an award 19 years in a row. Now, they've been dealing with this product all that time. Well, think about how far technology has come in 19 years. So, whatever they were hot at 20 years ago, it's super hot now. <laughs> They've also received several wireless technology innovation awards, among others. They were founded in 1997, and they have offices in Rochester, New York, Munich, Germany, and Kyoto, Tokyo, Japan. And they've got a lot of partners in those regions, so they actually have quite a few offices out there. Now, I want to focus in on one of their products. Most of their products are all the same. They're eyewear that really use all the technology we have available now, but I want to focus in on their newest product, which is for the consumers. They have been selling their products for a long time to enterprises, to corporations and companies, and that has been solid business. But now they want to break into the consumer market, which is a lot bigger and is really going to help this company to explode. And this is their product, the Vuji Shield Smart Glasses. Now, we're going to cover a lot of different things that this does. I don't know exactly where to start. It is connected with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Okay, so you can connect to other devices, including your phone. When you get a text message, rather than reach into your pocket and pull out your phone, you can just tap or say text message and it'll come up and you can read it. Now, imagine in church, right? You could get a text message and rather than pull your phone out and try to hide it to read it, you could actually just tap your glasses and read it. Now, don't worry about anybody seeing your message through your glasses. They have created this technology called incognito. So, even if you're wearing clear glasses like this, this film or whatever it is blocks the image so you can't see what I can see even though it's clear glass. They have dual cameras on these. You got a camera on the outside that is vi videoing and seeing everything live. And then you have your projection on the inside, which is actually a little tiny projector. It is a little tiny projector right here showing the image inside. Now, that technology I said we're going to talk about, that is for the inside. As you can see, all kinds of light are coming into my eyes right now. It's coming through the glass, around the glasses. I don't have any blinders. Well, that was dimming down the image in here. People couldn't see it very clear. Well, they've created this new technology which captures light so that they have made it real crisp and real vivid. All colors. It works on everything. It's also got dual speakers, stereo, has microphones. It has noise cancellation, even in the harshest weather, so you have two-way communication visually and audibly. God, there are so many things this thing can do. And we're going to dive into them, but I'm going to start down here because this starts reminding me of some of the things that this can do. First off, it has a listening device so that anything it hears, it can relay to you. If you were a deaf person, you could put these glasses on and it would hear what someone said to you and put it in here and you could read it. If you go to China or Spain, someone talks to you, it'll translate what they said so that you can read it right up on the screen. Isn't this amazing? They also have the uh, way of being able to connect to other devices like say a doctor. A doctor wants to look at your heart monitor or another device. It'll actually show up inside here so that he never has to turn his head to look at that device. It's always here. 
or maybe a bartender gets a drink they've never made before. Rather than going over to the book and having to find the drink and, you know, go back and forth, he can just pull it up by voice activation. He can ask for it to come up, ask for your text to come up, or you can just swipe or touch. It is both. So this is really versatile. I can't even think of everything this thing can do. So what I'm going to do now is dive into a piece of news that starts to break down all the little intricacies that this has the capabilities of. And I want you to put your imagination to work for all that this could be used for, because that is the limitations. We are just now discovering how many different ways we could use this. Fuji Corporation today announced that its award-winning Fuji Shield smart safety glasses are now available to the general public. Fuji Shield represents the company's most revolutionary pair of prescription ready AR Smart safety glasses. These are safety glasses that are certified. They are also prescription. You got a prescription, you can loosen up the lenses, pull them out, and drop in your prescription, and voila, these are your glasses, not the company's. These are yours. They boast their enhanced 3D optics made possible by their stereoscopic micro LED waveguide based displays. That's that new light capturing technology. Its high efficiency projectors deliver a crisp, ultra bright image indoors or outdoors. The safety glasses are certified, has self contained batteries, one on each side, stereo high definition cameras and Qualcomm processor under the hood. Would you believe the glasses actually have eight CPUs to run all that various technology? Fuji Shield is optimized for multi-hour untethered use. Now, doctors are using it straight through for 16 hours. Consumers like me and you can get up to 48 hours on these, and you can replace the batteries without interruption to service. This has stereo over-the-ear speakers for personalized audio and noise-canceling microphones for clear voice interactions in even harsh work environments. Now, because most use cases demand heads-up, hands-free use, Fuji Shield can support voice input in 29 languages. It also comes equipped with dual swipe tap touchpads for ultimate versatility without the need for voice commands. Using Fuji Shield, workers can stream their view to remote experts, connect to AI workflow. There's a lot of factories that use these and manufacturers. Let's say you're a new employee and they tell you to go get a part somewhere. You have no idea where to go. It comes up, shows you exactly where to go, exactly where that part is at, and exactly where to take it. They also allow you the ability to take photos which I'm presuming if you have a camera that can give you live stream, if it doesn't already, I bet it will be able to record live streaming. Now, I don't know if you remember this, folks. A little over 10 years ago, Google Glass came out with some smart glasses, and they had cameras in them, and they could record video and take pictures. They were just about to release them to the public, and woohoo! No! The public outcried. No, that's going to invade our privacy. We don't want them. We don't like them. So they just disappeared. Google pulled them off the market. And this company was on the market back then, but they weren't in the public side. They were only dealing with enterprises and corporations. So there were no privacy issues there. But now they're coming to the consumer market and they too have the ability to record and take pictures. Has anything changed? Have we changed? Are we ready for it now? We're going to find out here soon. It can also scan barcodes just by looking at it. It can get work instructions, notifications, all this stuff. Now, they brag about one of their customers just to let you know where they're at. Xander, one of the company's most notable early clients serving the deaf and hard of hearing community through collaborations with the Veterans Association has already placed follow on orders due to significant demand for the smart captioning solution. As I said, a deaf person can put glasses on and they can see subtitles for life. 
you know, everything that's being said. They don't have to look at one person and read their lips. They'll be able to hear everything. I don't know exactly how it works, but this is a breakthrough for the hearing impaired by a long shot. Though we're still working against a customer backlog, you better believe it. These are so popular, they're having a very hard time keeping up right now. We are pleased to have increased our manufacturing capacity to support the growing demand for the Vuji Shield. I think it's going to be hot, folks. They are, as I'm going to show you here in a minute, they're doing business with hundreds of companies, corporations, and enterprises. And these companies are buying hundreds of units, starting to kick up to thousands of units. So you're looking at hundreds of thousands of units, maybe a million units. But as good as that sounds, if you break the consumer market and you start selling one to every person, that is millions and millions and millions of these they could sell. That would be a huge difference. And that would also bring down the cost. Right now, they're 2,500 bucks. Hopefully, that would bring it down to maybe $1,000 at least. And you know, we'd probably buy that without any problem. I mean, we're already buying an iPhone for 1,000 bucks. So wouldn't we really want these, which do so much more than a phone does? They've each got their own features and capabilities. Fuji Shield is unique in the market and is the only wireless, fully integrated pair of prescription-ready smart glasses offering advanced AR capabilities. Now, what I really like about this company is how many other companies have surrounded themselves to her. I look at a company and I say, are any other companies doing business with this company? Do I know any of these companies? Because these companies are gonna vet the company well. They're going to do their due diligence before they get invested in them. And this company has got lots of companies around them. Looking at the software department, all of these companies' software is already integrated into the hardware of their products. I told you that they've already got lots of customers in the enterprise. They're doing business with Amazon. They're doing business with the Clorox. They're doing business with a lot of big food distributors. And these contracts are still going on and they are growing. Down here they tell us, and hundreds of other companies. Single site POCs and initial deployment ranging from five to 50 units. Many of these customers can ultimately deploy hundreds, even thousands of units, which is great. You know, that's a lot of business, but again, it's not as much business as you're gonna get from the consumers. As you can see, the medical sector is connecting to this big time. This is only some, this isn't everybody. Lots of institutions and lots of hospitals are getting into this because it's got all the technology that they need. They can talk to somebody else who can actually see what they're doing. And doctors right now are using this in their operations, connecting doctors from the West Coast to the East Coast so they can collaborate during an operation and do a better job. And this is just one of the applications. I mean, there are so many different things that it can be used for. And as we start using it on a daily basis, we're going to find lots of ways that we can use this. So I'm excited for this, folks. I think it's going to be a super duper hot product now that it's coming into the consumer's hands. Everybody is going to want one and they don't have any competition right now. Voila. Ooh. That took more time than I wanted it to. So we're just going to breeze through the stock information, try to make up some time here. So we're looking at the relative volume for Bougie Corporation. Over the last 30 days, she's been doing less than a million shares, doing about 800,000. Today, she really bumped it up to 3.8 million. Share structure for Bougie, not bad. We're at about 65 million. Don't know what the float is, but it won't be higher than the outstanding share count. So we're going to be under 65 million. And honestly, anything under 100 million is a decent float. So that's not bad. Market cap for the company, we're at about 87 million. Take a look at those financials. All right, remember we got to add three zeros to any of the numbers we're looking at on these charts. Over the last four years, the company's been averaging about $12 million each year. And they were bringing home profit every year until 2023. I don't know what happened. They made over 12 million, but it cost them over 14 million. So they lost $2.6 million in 2023. What do the quarterlies look like? 
Well, those quarterly revenues are all over the place, jumping from about a million up to four and a half million. Sometimes they're making money, sometimes they're not. And oh my God, look at that last quarter. It was the least amount of revenues they've ever made, and it was the most money they've ever lost, $4.2 million. Woo! Take a look at that balance sheet. They've got money in the bank. They got about $26.5 million. Total assets, $86 million. Oh, look at that. Total liabilities, not even $6 million. So even though the company's losing a lot of money right now, they've got a strong foundation. We have over $80 million in stockholder equity. Stockholder equity is the foundation, folks. That's, that's solid. We need that. The money that they're making right now, that's a temporary problem. We can fix that one. So we've got lots of money in equity here, over $80 million. Take a look at those disclosures for the company. We've got a few recent ones here. Can't remember what this 8K was for. Results of operation. Oh, of course, I should have known that. Whenever you have a 10K or a 10Q come out, which are your financials, you're going to have an 8K come out with it. It's just an abbreviated version of the financials, so you don't have to read everything. And that's really all we got going on over here. But we do have some news to look at. We have got news going back here to April 23rd. Global retailer expands its use of Vuji smart glasses to support its warehousing operations. Significant productivity improvements achieved for client using Vuji smart glasses. So the glasses are being used. They're being used for a lot of different things. People are finding new applications for them. Vuji to bring new low cost, full color waveguides to display week 2024. Now I wanna look at this piece of news folks because the next piece of news builds on this one. Vuji will offer select clients a private look at its next generation optic system technologies designed specifically for fashion forward smart glasses. So now we're taking all this technology, getting them off of these black glasses, and we're going to put them on fashion designer glasses, glasses you and I wear every single day. The company announced it will be offering, by request only, demonstrations of its latest optical display systems advancements. Vuji has set the bar for what's possible with enterprise and consumer waveguide enabled wearable displays, having brought to market thus far the largest and most diverse smart glass portfolio in the world. Now this is the waveguide technology, though I have explained it to you. Let me tell you what they say about it. Fuji is currently developing a revolutionary waveguide assembly that radically reduces the substrate density of its embedded display systems with a design specifically tailored for use in lightweight, fashion-forward smart glasses. Improving upon Fuji's already high brightness waveguides, this new solution already delivers some of the highest uniformity increases available today with full color capabilities offered at half the thickness of our prior waveguides. In response to ongoing demand for waveguide lenses featuring integrated vision correction prescriptions, Fuji has engineered a proprietary waveguide solution to bring prescription AR smart glasses to the mainstream. So this is the deal. They're bringing this new technology to fashion designer glasses. And that's when this piece of news comes into play. And this came out today. Fuji Corporation announces that the company has signed a multi-phase development contract with Garmin for next generation nano imprinted waveguide based display systems. Under the terms of the contract, Fuji will develop and deliver in succession waveguide based optical systems with a full custom projection engine and then ultimately produce these units. Garmin is a technological leader and an ideal collaborator for implementing our advanced waveguide based solutions in numerous markets. Now, Jumping over to Garmin's w website, you look around and you say, okay, what have we got going on here? These are all watches. Well, you know, I knew the name Garmin from years back, and this isn't what I knew them for. What I knew them for was their display equipment. They had uh, GPS 
for vehicles. They had uh, sonar for boats. They had altimeters and other equipment for planes. Well, now they're working with these watches like Fitbit. They monitor your health. They're counting your steps. They're doing all kinds of things. Well, when I came over here looking at their products under smart watches, sports and fitness, outdoor recreation, automotive, marine, and aviation, nowhere in any of these areas, and I looked, there isn't one set of glasses, whether they be sports glasses, sunglasses, swimming glasses, bug glasses, none. They have no glasses whatsoever. This is an entirely new division for them, and it's not just glasses. It's high-tech glasses. So Garmin, a well-known name for high tech, is going to be adding this new product to their business. And that is going to explode. And I'm sure this is just one of the companies they're going to be reaching out to. Now, just so you understand, the company makes custom designs. They do have white label products that they could sell to every single person, the same exact product over and over. But what they do is specialize in custom design for whatever your business needs. And this company has asked them to design something special for them. And once it gets to them, this company is going to start selling it to all the consumers out there. And I'm presuming other companies are either approaching the company or the company is approaching them. And we're going to see this coming out with a lot of companies. And each one is going to have their own price and do their own things. So I really like what we're looking at here, folks. The company has got a lot of potential because they're the first ones to have this sort of eyewear, AI enabled, wirelessly connected, and nobody else has it and everybody's gonna want it. I mean, everybody's gonna want it. So they're gonna go from hundreds of thousands of devices that they're selling to millions and millions of devices. And I think it's gonna help this company to explode. And the chart right now is in the midst of an explosion. I think she's gonna cool off just a little bit and then boom, we're gonna see another rip. Let's go take a look at that chart. Well, so much for getting through that in a hurry. <laughs> What are you going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Our charting. We're going to chart Vuzi, ticker V-U-Z-I, on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. Got this opened up to a six-month, four-hour view. And as you can see, she has been in a downtrend, predominantly underneath the 200 this entire time. Now, six months ago, we had a high of $4.21, and it was mid-April, we hit a low of $1.10. Now, it's right in this area that our 200 is starting to lessen her incline. She's starting to come up just a little at a time, and that caught our price's attention. She jumped up here and broke through the 200, not to try to break out, just to show her intention. She's interested in climbing if she can find an opportunity. That opportunity is when the 200 starts to level out. She came back down, hit that low bubble of a buck 10, came back up, Broke through the 200 again, fell back down pretty close to our buck 10. She came down to a buck 12 here and then jumped. As I said, for the last four days, the volume has been increasing strong. And for the last two days, the price has been climbing. Yesterday, she was underneath the 200. Today, she ripped through that in a big way. She started off yesterday at $1.22. She hit $1.80 today, pulling back and landing at a buck 50 which is way up here, way above our 200. There's our nine day SMA crossing the 200 and here come all the rest. Our 200 haul, our 20 and our 50 are all turned up and now starting to climb. That 200 haul going blue is a big token sign to me right there. A lot of penny stocks start to run when they get on top of the 200 haul and she starts to push up. Our oscillators are real strong. Our PPO, percentage price oscillator, is climbing. MACD is pushing up. Green bars are getting bigger and bigger. RSI is up there at 62. Looking at our 20 day, one hour view. So there's our low bubble of a buck 10. She got to the 200, pretty much stuck with the 200 until she had her crouch. I don't consider this a fall. This reminds me of a cat crouching just a few inches down before it jumps lots of feet up. We see this happen a lot. It'll be going sideways, maybe a little dip, and then you see this tremendous fast dip. 
These are normally crouches. And that's exactly what this was. She bounced off of her financials, which came out this day, banged her head on that 200 for an entire day. Yesterday, she broke through the 200, came back down to the 50 and launched today. Now, I believe she's going to come back down to this 200 area, maybe just a 20. I think she will come down though a little bit lower. She's going to find herself a good springboard and bounce off of it. Maybe the 20, maybe the 50. I don't know, but I don't think she'll go any deeper than the 200. Oscillators, they were very strong. They are still up, but everything is cooling off right now with this pullback right now. Take a look at that five day, five minute. So she was hugging that 200 day SMA until she took her crouch right here on the financials, bounced up to that 200. She wrestled with that for a full day. Yesterday, she jumped hard, came down, put a pillar down. I talk to you about these all the time. When you see a big drop with a long wick, pierce a strong SMA, and then pop up immediately right back to where she was, that tells me I'm ready to climb. I'm just stabilizing my big bridge, the one that's going to carry me up. So she got it deep into the ground, came up, went sideways, and then she took off, folks. She launched herself here this morning from a buck 39 up to a buck 80, and she's had a lot of pullback. She has gone through every single SMA, and she has stopped right here dangling in the air. Really? I don't think so. Let's back up to the 15 minute. Aha! See, prices don't dangle in the air. They land on something. You just got to find which chart they're on. Well, here you go. She came down through her 20 and landed on her 50. No doubt about that, right? She is right on top of that 50, laying on it and starting to push away right now. Here comes our nine day turning up. Everything looks like it is in recovery mode. Our 15 minutes says exactly that. All of our oscillators came down. They are at the bottom of the bowl right now, coming up to the other side. Everything is turning as if it's ready to climb. Looking at the five minute oscillators, we've got the same thing going on here. We've got a crossover on our PPO just happening right now, getting on top. Our MACD is getting on top of the signal line. Here comes a green bar into the picture and our RSI is climbing. This is looking good to me, folks. She looks like she has the hotness we need in a chart for it to grow. We've got the catalyst to give her the nitro boost she needs to grow. The company is coming out with a product that is going to explode their revenues. Right now, they're just dealing with enterprises, which doesn't seem to be doing much, but just keeping their head above water. Seems to me they're selling maybe a million units. Now they're going to be selling millions of units. That's going to be big, folks. We didn't cover everything. I covered a lot. <laughs> it took a lot of time, but believe it or not, there was a lot I didn't cover. So do your own due diligence, folks. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.